Uh, we're gonna start a new project today. It's gonna be a uh, 2005 RMK 600. That's the base that we're starting with. Chopping off the whole front of the sled. Just gonna make it a stand-up track. I'm gonna mount the 600 on above the track from the opposite side of where it was. So it'll be uh, a little bit more weight on the back. So I've already taken and cutting off the front. Here's the sled. So it'll be like a stand up track. It kinda is like, a, uh, reminds me of um, a jet ski. When you're taking off, how it just feels. It sinks down, and when it takes off, it'll lift the front up, and the back will sink down in. And we'll be surfing the track with 120 horsepower, 125, whatever. We'll check it out. We'll try it. That's the motor. It runs. Just got to clean it up. So these are the mounting points. I've already kind of taken some measurements. So just got to put some motor mounts on this and let's see. Let's see what it does. Uh, it'll be interesting. So let's get to it. So I have made an adapter plate that's plated underneath this and bolted to this. So this is a bolted on clamped plate. This is one of the motor mounts that will go right here. It's at a different angle as you can see from that one. This motor mount will go up right along in here somewhere. everybody put the cage on here yesterday did the mount on the swing arm up here for the top hand locking up right here gotta put two tabs here for the shock but it works 
and let's see here putting so skirt here out of metal here out of metal got to put a uh, from down here a mount to a spring here for the exhaust and mount the gauge cluster but I was able to get this all nice and mounted cross section got the box here with all the wires inside tucked away nice and clean so there's no extra wires and then this is the pull start right here these are the throttle cables which I got to get longer ones because I'm going to extend it up That. They're going to be underneath on the bottom rail going up to the top up here. So we have hand brake, which is down here. So all I need to do is get a longer hydraulic cable. And that'll, again, get routed up underneath to the, to the brake side, throttle side here. But it's coming along. And then the got to cut that the top headlight piece off, and that actually skirts around this whole thing here. I got to put the end piece on here, which is what I'm making here, right there. Still have the radiator supports to make off of this bottom here. It'll be floating a little bit like that in there. And then across this house, uh, supports here, tied into this support here. Same with the support over to this one. Anyways, it's coming along. Today, I am gonna take, I believe, these skis here, and I wanna put them out, I believe, out here, a little bit of an angle, just a little bit more forward than the track here. Uh, Cause it's just gonna nose dive too much. So it's just gonna have a real short throw of the skis on the front. I might even put a mount from here to here to stabilize it. Again, this will come up just a little bit like that. I'm thinking something like that.
adding a stabilizer back bar so the ski's not taking all the, the flexing. There's a lot of pressure when you go and turn and you hit this, probably wants to rip it apart. So adding a back support, and then you're gonna come up, which this goes over that, notched it out. That'll fit like that. This one here will go up. That. And this one go up. The fuel cell showed up here and this mat I'm gonna mount onto the back for traction gotta cut this off right here uh, so the mat will lay flat fuel cell here already pre-marked here and that'll be good for today.